Hi everyone. Uh, for this interview, I invited a former model here in the Philippines, a former expatriate in Macau, and now she's living, living her life in New York City. Please welcome Natasha Julia. As usual. Anyway, Natasha, thank you for saying yes. We have a 12-hour difference. Ay, nag-ano na ba dyan? Yeah. Nag-daylight saving na uh, yeah, Today, it's 5.47 p.m. Ah, so, wala nang daylight. Sabi kasi natanggalin na daw dyan ng daylight. Yes, oh. until 8.30 p.m. She's in New York now. Uh, she's going to be based there already. Uh, before, she, she modeled here in the Philippines and she worked also in Macau. So I'd like everyone to know more about her, yung mga pinagdaanan niya. Although, my audience know very well that my interviews are always positive. Um, I don't want to delve on the negative side of everything, but I just want people to learn about your life, Natasha, and be an, a good example to the young ones. Kasi nga, yun ang audience ko. Yes. Well, really, thank you so much for inviting me, Derek. It's such an honor, you know. We used to work a couple of couple of years back, and you know, getting a, a message from you to interview me is really, you know, very. Um, na ano ako na inspire ako. So I go, wow, oh my god, direct Kata remembers me. So I'm really excited for today. Natasha, you're the first. Ano? Ah, no, no, no. You're the second, pala. Because as his first co interview was Kathy Moya. Yung Macau yeah. expatriates. Yeah. Tapos ikaw yung yeah. next to. Kasi nag-show kami ni Cathy. So sinamantala ko na yung chance na ma-interview si Cathy. Nung, yeah. ano. So then you're the second one from Macau. So si Jeng, hinihintay ko pa. Yung nasa Macau pa talaga. Yeah. Yun ang hinihintay ko pa na ano. Kasi uh, gusto niya siyempre tahimik yung lugar niya. Bago, right. oh, oh, bago kami mag-interview. Anyway, Natasha, for the benefit of the young ones. No? Yung mga lalo yung mga baguets. No? Pakisabi naman kung sino si Natasha Julian. 
Natasha Julian. Sino ba si Natasha? Well, Direk, I'm very proud Provinciana. I came from the beautiful city of Zamboanga. And Natasha is very goal-driven. I am very ambitious. And I would say I'm very self-motivated. And I actually like to, uh, you know, call myself fiercely independent because I've been independent ever since when I was in high school. I was making money for my family at the same time, you know, um, in school. That's when I was able to earn the degree of Bachelor of Science in Tourism, where I finished in my hometown, Denzamwanga. And after that, that's when I, you know, traveled to Manila and try to pursue a career in modeling industry. So after that, I was doing modeling for about two years in, in Manila. And then I was able to get an opportunity to work abroad. So I was once an overseas Filipino worker and uh, work in one of the most you know, prestigious hotel resort casino in Macau for marketing and events and promotion. And along the way, Derek, I was, you know, I took advantage of my job, mm. the opportunity that I was abroad. So I was able to earn an international certifications for permanent makeup artists. Mm. So on this side, while I was working in, in casino, I also, you know, built up my business. I had a business. So I was doing a cosmetic tattooing, lash artistry. And literally right now, I am in the space that I'm chasing my dreams here in New York City. New York, with, yes. Yes, literally chasing my dreams. And this time I'm pursuing my passion in beauty. That's why I'm also currently taking an um, esthetician course in uh, international school here in New York. Oi, Natasha, yung isang ano ko dyan, model, si Sheridan Almarves, graduated from aesthetics. Oh, yes. <coughs> yes. Jansa, New York. I I actually Finish saw her post because I've been following her direct. Mm -mm. And she inspired me actually when I saw her toga, like her, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. green, no. her graduation. I'm like, oh my God, yan yung gusto ko. Mm -hmm. So she was also one of my inspiration. You see from, even if we don't know each other, but I follow her because, you know, she's also a supermodel from the Philippines now in New York. I, I've been following, following her too. Natasha. <laughs> Before you went to the other parts of the world, you were a model here, no, sa Pilipinas, no? I was. Kumusta? Magkwento ka lang ng, ano, I don't know, I, I just want to, I just want you to, to uh, give stories to, especially to the young ones na, na, you know, na gusto rin mag-aspire. Uh, kumusta yung time mo as a model dito sa Pilipinas? It was, Actually, direct when I went to Manila, my first target was to pursue a job. So I um, applied for Cebu Pacific, and then that was my first rejection. Mm. So I had a friend. I think it's very important to have uh, a connection mm -hmm. if you know someone who is, you know, in the in the industry. I think that's the first thing that you know, um, pwede mong gawin to be able to, you know. Do what you want to do. So his name was Jesse Bakyal. So he was also ah. from. The oh, 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 oh. You know him. Yeah. So he was also um, uh, an agent, also from Zamboanga, my hometown. So he helped me navigate through all the process of the modeling, taking mm -hmm. me to go see, mm -hmm. taking me to a photo shoot to prepare for set cards. And, you know, auditioning, that's where I landed my first competition of joining Body Shot. Body Shot, so. Yeah. Yun, yun yung first oh. competition. So, and that's when, you know, uh, I was able to get an opportunity to learn and um, meet renowned and most respected fashion designers, oh. as well as, of course, you know, director like you. That's where we met. Oh, oh yes, I remember. Of course. Yes. Body so Shots 2013. 2013, Body, right. Uh, yeah. oh, oh. Pero how was it? Uh, did you enjoy? Sabi mo nga two years ka nag-try nag dito. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Kumusta? How was your experience? Definitely, Tito, uh, uh, direct. Definitely, I really had so much fun. Kasi, you know, I, I grew up watching fashion TV. Mm. And 
pagdating ko ng Manila, parang ang daming opportunity. As long as you really put it yourself there, kung gusto mo, anything is really possible. It was, it was, okay siya. Um, if only, you know, I, I didn't have to leave um, to Macau, I would probably be still modeling back to the Philippines at the moment. But of course, you know, things happen for reasons. But it was such a learning experience. And it's actually, ito yung mga, you know, stories I would say to my future children that your mom was once a, a, a model. Hindi man super, but, you know, model in the uh, Philippines. Ako eh, namimiss nga namin yung mga ganyang itsura dito. <laughs> Ay, ganun ba? Anyway, Natasha, meron kang magandang height, may tamang looks, meron kang charm, and the intelligence, no? Bakit hindi ka sumali sa mga national pageants noon dito? You know, to be honest, direct, at that time, I had so many insecurities. I felt like baka hindi ako masyadong maganda. Maybe I wasn't too, you know, intelligent enough. And uh, I felt like pageantry was so much, too much to handle. I may not be able to handle the bashings emotionally. Mm-hmm. So it was never my priority but i was also glad na i was able to you know join a competition join a pageant for miss resorts world mm-hmm. hindi man binibini pilipinas but you know i'm very proud that i landed second place for um resorts world manila which also landed me so many opportunities and then i had tapos yon nagwork na ako sa casino mm-hmm. for uh, on and off while doing modeling and then Umalis na ako agad Umalis eh. Umalis ka na ng Pinas. So, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Anyway, Natasha, sabi ko na, yun na nga, umalis ka na sa Pinas after some years in the Philippines, in the modeling industry. Um, you tried your luck as an expatriate. I would rather call it expatriate in Macau. Yeah. No? At medyo matagal. No? And uh, ano sa tingin mo yung differences culturally nung mga, nang ikaw, katulad ng Pinay, with the Macanese people. Yeah. You know, Derek, um, actually, Macau is very much diverse. Firmly, you know, their culture are fir- firmly rooted with Cantonese. And since it's very diverse, and daming tourists from all over the world. So mm-hmm. we get to meet different people. And with Macau, actually, it wasn't that difficult because people are actually really welcoming so as Filipinos. They're very family oriented, okay. so as I. Yes, yes. So I guess you know the difficult part in the beginning was just the um, language barrier because I cannot speak Cantonese. But nevertheless, it it feels home in Macau. And daming Filipino eh. So it, and and I guess it's only just the language. But when you're there, people are really nice and welcoming. Pero pero, lang na, at, pero Natasha. Doon, you work in, in shifts, no? At uh, saka lagi nakatayo, yeah. lagi nakatayo, yeah. di ba? Yun, yun ang work mo noon, eh, di ba? You have to, saka lagi dapat maganda, dapat maayos, and everything. Right. Kumusta? Kasi dito sa modeling, walang oras, eh. Di ba? Walang, kailangan sinusunod na oras. Although you already work for Resorts World. Pero, siyempre, iba yung nakatali ka sa oras. At yeah. saka iba yung free ka. Did you have a hard time adjusting? Nahirapan ka ba mag-adjust from that kind, from modeling to a shifting job in in Macau? To be honest, direct, I it wasn't difficult at all because yung trabaho ko sa Macau was quite similar to what I was doing back in Manila. Only, of course, except we don't do runway in mm-hmm. you know in Macau. Yun lang. But I was doing a lot of um events and promotions which for some models we also do that in the Philippines hindi man hindi naman tayo puro runways lang diba or photo mm-hmm. shoot we also uh, get get ourselves involved with you know special events ganyan so we also wear different costumes high heels mm-hmm. here and there the only thing is yes we have you know like 9 to 5 job 8, mm-hmm. eight hours per day uh, one day off per week it's not, never enough but, you know, um, I loved my job. I enjoyed so much. So to me, it was pretty easy because I was somehow like 
because I like I like I love fixing myself, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was it was not difficult shift at all. Natasha, let's talk about Macau, the place, no, the place. Yeah. Any fondest memories mo? At saka maliit lang ang Macau eh. During your day off, saan ka nagpupunta doon? Hindi naman ganun kalaki yung lugar, di ba? But I'm sure you have fond memories of Macau. Nagtagal oh, ka de- doon eh. Nagtagal ka doon, di ba? Definitely direct. So, siguro, you know, Macau will always have the biggest place in my heart because that's where I shape my life mm-hmm. and mold my being. Um... Doon ko natutunan lahat kung paano maging responsable sa buhay. How yung hard work, doon ko na uh, experience na, you know, if you want something, you gotta work hard for it. Diba? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I value all those little things in life more. As in, doon mo ma- ma-appreciate yung... Kasi that's the place where I grew eh. I, I became mm-hmm. extra responsible Um, working there. Then so, you were alone. No? Wala I was alone. Oh. Yes, I, I, I went to Macau. I was there when I was 21 years old. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Alam um, ko, bagets pa to eh. Bagets pa to yeah. nung, ano, nung nag-model. Eh. Bagets. Bagets. So, you were 19, di ba? Nung body shots, di ba? 19. I was like 20, oh, oh. 20, 19, 19, no? Alam yeah. mo, kahit matagal na, kahit 9 years, kahit 9 years ago yun, natatandaan ko kayo. <laughs> That is so nice to it. Hindi ba pwede makalimutan. Anyway, no, no. ano naman ang fondest memories mo sa mga co-workers mo doon? Kasi itong interview natin, hindi natin masabi, Natasha, baka nanonood sila. Kaibigan ko yeah. sila, Jeng. Kaibigan ko yung mga kaibigan yeah. mo sa Macau. Ano yung fondest memories mo sa kanila? You know, Derek, as you said in the beginning, no, you interviewed Kathy Moya. Mm-hmm. Kathy Moya is my senior. We work together. We hang out together. Um, as in, She's my colleague. Kaya nung nakita ko yung interview, I'm like, oh my God, that's Kathy. You know, I'm proud. Kasi, you know, we used to work together. So, my fondest mom- moments in Macau with my colleagues was definitely, you know, being with these girls. I work with six other girls who are actually former models. Models, uh, yeah. Yes. And the highlight of that is that ang babait nila. I just feel so blessed that I was surrounded with, you know, very humble beginnings. Nagsimula sa sa baba modeling. You know, we all have different stories, pero I'm so happy kasi sila yung naging inspiration ko because the rest of the girls that I work with are also an entrepreneurs. Mm. So kanya-kanya kaming may sidelines. Mm-hmm. Even if we work, you know, our regular jobs, We always inspire each other to do more and you know lift each other as in. So it, it's kaya siguro ako nagtagal, you know, to be honest, it's mm-hmm. definitely because of them. Kasi yung mga friends there, it already became your family. Eh. Iba na, as in, like, um, kaya nung pag alis ko, very mixed emotions kami. But of course, you know, we're all happy for each other going through you know, different phases of our lives. Some are getting married kasi some are moving to other countries and I, I'm here. So, yun, we're very supportive. Kaya Ayan. Na-mention mo, yung, na-mention mo yung go to other countries, no? Uh, ikaw, ano eh, uh, tagal mo sa Macau, ilang years? Eight, seven, eight years, no? Eight years. Eight years, so, oh, tapos here now in New York. Natasha, siyempre, pinay ka pa din. Di ba? In, in, uh, pinay ka pa din. 100%. Nag- nagigit ba sa iyo ang homesickness? Even ngayong nandiyan ka sa New York? Yes, of course, direct. You know, there will always be days na may homesick. But I, but I also feel like I really have a strong emotional, you know, control when it comes to that. And if I ever feel homesick, I go to see my friends, I go mm. out, uh, you know, retail therapy. Ah, oh, yes. And, <laughs> Diba? Mar- marami-rami uh, dyan. Marami-rami dyan sa yeah. New York. <laughs> Oo, kaya medyo ano muna kasi, you know. <laughs> Oo, yes. So. And um, what else? Hindi, ibig sabihin, hindi mo ba na may miss ng Sambuanga? Siyempre, hindi ka lumak eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes, yeah, siyempre direct. You know, um, ilang years na ako hindi naka-uwi because from Macau, I went straight to New York. Oh, so, oh, oh. before then, Siguro almost four years this January, I haven't seen my family. Tagal so, na rin, ha? Yes. 
even yeah. before the pandemic pa lang, di ka na nakaka-uwi, no? Yeah, and it's very hard, especially during the pandemic, you know. Uh, I lost three of my closest hmm? relatives. Due to COVID? During, the, during COVID, yes. Oh, okay. So, that was very, uh, the most difficult times for me. Pero, you know, I'm very glad that my friends are there. Hmm. So that's when, you know, at least medyo napagaan naman yung feeling. Kasi... And I'm surrounded by you, uh, you know, they're always there for you. So I still feel blessed. At saka, maganda niyan, you, you're staying with your auntie, di ba, dyan sa New York. Yes. So kahit pa paano, may family, this time family. Oh my God, uh, yes. Very yeah. grateful, Direk. Yun, so, Natasha, uh, you, you've traveled a lot, no? Nagpunta ka ng Macau, nandiyan ka ngayon sa New York, at nakapunta ka pa sa ibang parte ng mundo, di ba? You've been traveling, di ba? Yes. Uh, Would you consider yourself a certified wanderlust? Well, of course, you know, direct traveling is always the best way to learn so many things in life. In fact, it's like um an ano to eh, malaking impact to for our personal growth, right? And I would always say that traveling is always the best education. And if you ask me if I'm a wanderlust, definitely yes. Oh, yes. Pareho, pareho, same no? year, same year. Yes. Because <laughs> you know, um, if I have the opportunity, why not? I would. Mm. So like, at the phase of my life right now, where I, if, if there's an opportunity right in front of me, grab it, grab it, grab it. Because oh. you'll never know if it's gonna come to you. Eh. So, eto ako ngayon, like. Go, go for Ay, gold. You're suited for the life there in New York. You're suited for there. Kasi ang mga tao dyan, lahat driven. Lahat driven. Yes. You know, kailangan sometimes, ano eh, kailangan bida-bida ka eh. Ganon. You have to put yourself out there. So, ano na, um, you know, wala nang hiya-hiyaan. Kasi you, you think about your future, you think about your career and your life. So, just do whatever na ano yung you know, you think that's gonna help you for your career. Okay. Ayan, na-mention mo yung future, di ba? Ngayon nandiyan ka na sa New York, the, 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 ano, the big apple. Ano ba, let's say, um, let's go forward. Uh, in five years, how do you see yourself? I see myself as a professional skin care art. Ay, talagang know, gusto mo. Talagang gusto mo siya. Beauty industry. Lahat na direct. Ito talaga. I, I, I feel like I'm meant to do something greater here in New York. That's why I'm here. And I think it's God's calling why I'm here. Kasi mm-hmm. a, little, a little trivia, no? uh, a little interesting story. Just right before I left Macau, I was packing my things to send back to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So I found my book. During this, this this notebooks were actually during the time when I was doing modeling, because I write my schedule there. Oh, I write, oh, you know, oh, who's oh. the director for today's show, the oh, 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 and, oh. and I, I always write manifestation. Lahat every year, 2013, 14, 15, I was writing all my manifestations, my income, my expenses, because I wanted to want to attract, oh, you know, um, you know. One of the, the three, three notebooks says there, one day I'm going to travel to Europe. Mm. I'm going to travel, you know, in Asia, experience this and that. One day uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, send my family to get their regular checkups, send mm. them packages. Because you know how it feels pag my, my package going abroad. Mm. Diba? <laughs> so I write that down. And then number three, One day I'm going to move to New York City. Talaga, nilagay mo yun. Like and now you're there. That was 2013, 14, and 15. Talaga? Talaga? Buti na so, okay. dala mo siya sa Macau. Dala mo siya sa Macau. Dala dala ko kasi ano ako, very Virgo. So I always want to, you know, I always want my uh, keep I want to keep track. Oh. So, mahilig din ako magsulat sa journal. And I think that's very helpful also for, ah, you know. Ah, journal ka. Uh, Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos nailagay mo doon yung mga, yung mga nararanasan mo ay nailagay mo pala doon. Mangyayari talaga. Like, grabe. Minsan nakaka-goosebumps kasi 
everything that I wrote there direct. Hindi man lahat right away, you know. Oh, but oh, oh. Pero Natasha, di ba parang the power of spoken words? Parang ganon ni eh, di ba yung yung that ganon. So Tapos last no, I know that that you you're quite ano there in New York. Magkaiba tayo na oras eh. Ako magsisimula na yung araw ko. Eh. Ito patapos patapos pa lang yung araw mo from yesterday, yeah. di ba? Ano, lastly Natasha, sabi ko nga sa iyo before we started, I know my audience, no? 14 to 25, ang pinakamaraming nanonood. Anong words ang pwede mong sabihin sa kanila, especially to the young girls out there na gusto maging Natasha Julian in the future. Yung pinagdaanan mo, pag model, naging expatriate and now living your life in New York. Anong gusto mong sabihin sa kanila? Yeah. Well, first of all, direct, no, I just, I am doing what I'm doing because I also have younger siblings. Mm. I have my nieces and nephews who are, you know, also looking up to me. So I just really want to be an inspiration to them. So sila yung una kong, um, you know, I, I look at them as parang mga babies ko. Mm. Because I love, I'm very family oriented. And also, when I was young, I always You know, I grew up looking, looking up to my elders, yung mga values and morals and yung mga wisdom nila, mm-hmm. yung hard work and perseverance, lahat na, direct. So I guess my advice is focus on this goal. Yun lang. Mm-hmm. You know, you'll go through so many phases in your life na you'll feel lost. Sino ba ako? Ano bang gusto kong gawin? You know, but relax. The my best, uh, the best thing that I have ever did, those times when I feel lost, is prayers. Yun na lang, no? Yung kakapitan yeah. mo, eh, no? Kapitan mo talaga siya. And I always listen to something na parang, you know, that will give me um, closer to God. As in, like, uh-huh. feeling the presence. And I really feel na pag may gusto ka, write it down, man manifest mo yon follow your heart focus on one goal which is what i'm doing right now i'm like this ito ako ngayon ay nako eh ano nga maniwala kayo she did it and now she made it di ba natasha you did it and you made it so natasha thank you for saying yes to this Course, Say, yes. I will see you, I hope, when I get oh, the registration yeah. in New York Fashion Week. I will see you there sometime September. I will inform you kung pupunta kami dyan. Tapos inform oh, ko rin sure. kasi. Tapos siguro, uh, pag nagkita tayo, kaisasama ko ni Charlene to Marvis para magkita kayo oh, ng yes. person. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God, she's been really an inspiration. Okay. Sige, para magkwento siya regarding sa school mo, sa aesthetics, di ba? Yes. Yes. Diba? Ayun, so Tatasha, good morning from the Philippines and good nearly good good evening na pala dyan sa New York. Okay? Yes, Derek. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Derek. Bye. So happy. Thank you so much. God Bye, bless everyone. Bye-bye.